Da, 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 da. Hype-tastic, hype-tastic, hype-tastic. I'm gonna try out these Ethics S3 props. I rant a lot about the colors, man. Um, honestly, it doesn't look as bad on my quad as I thought it would look. I'd still prefer different colors though. But aesthetics aside, uh, okay, what I normally run is a, I forget the specs on these guys, but they're obviously a really shallow pitch. They're roughly like a 5x4x3-ish kind of prop. They're meant to replicate the feel of the old HQ 5x4x3s. So I'm gonna, so let's compare them actually to the props I run. So the props that I run, uh, you can see are way higher pitch. So I'm running these 5.1 HQ Popo, you know, chamfered edge, whatever props. They, these are not a popular prop. Not many people know them. I was even skeptical on them, but I think Zong like just made a batch of these things and offered people like, you know, 20 bucks, we'll send you a huge batch or whatever. So we got a bag, I tried them and I love them and I've been, I've been using them ever since. They're great, good power, good efficiency even on 4S and these sort of non-crazy motors. So yeah, uh, these are the actual specs of the proc. It's 5.1 by 4.6 by 3. This is my go-to prop. Now, anytime a new hype prop comes out, everyone freaks out, but particularly when Mr. Steele's name is on something, everyone's gonna have opinions and this and that. I like to always try stuff out, so I'm trying these suckers out. I'm really curious to see how they go. I'm expecting better efficiency because I'm running a lower pitch here and better response. Beyond that, I have really no idea what to expect. Um, I've flown a lot of the 5x4.3x3 V1 S. That was my default prop for a long time. But it's been so long since I flew them that I kind of forget how they fly. So I'm kind of warmed up now. I'm going to just fly these guys and see how they feel. Um, yeah, they're a nice looking prop, I'll say that. Not that ugly. Although, yeah, I would not mind some color choice. But the important thing is gonna be function, obviously, and I think that's maybe part of the joke here of like the watermelon thing. I think they're almost making fun of guys who were like, oh, well, you know, matching their prop colors instead of worrying about how the thing performs or something or whatever. Anyways. Uh, Time to pop a matching lipo in here and fly it and see what it's like. All right, so Ethics S3 flight number one. And I'm kind of making fun of the hype thing here. So keep that in mind. I'm not serious about any of this shit. I like to, I like to just make fun. I don't take myself or anything that seriously. I'm just interested to see how good these props are. Um, I'm expecting they should be pretty good, but I really don't know what to expect. So I'm keeping an open mind. I think they should be nice and uh, nice and crispy. Time to fly these guys instead of just adding to the endless talk about them.
crashed this guy pretty hard and let's just say that um, your motors aren't really supposed to look like this <laughs> oh, for God's sake I really need like people to hold this yeah that's not that's not really good for a motor so that was a hard crash well I gotta fly the set I have on the quad that is on the quad that's looking at the quad anyways crash my second set oh that's why they okay so they fly really nice actually um, the thing that I'm not so comfortable with yet is the, the power curve on them so they're more linear they got power all the way across the rpm range you can say a lot of the power is right up high, so you gotta work the throttle stick a lot more than I'm used to working it. I'm used to not having to work the throttle stick very much unless I really need a ton of power, because I usually run higher pitch props. Oddly, these things aren't really more efficient than my other props at all, even though they're way lower pitch. No difference in efficiency that I can tell. Nothing obvious anyways. But they feel really good. They scream. They're like really loud. Uh, they could be a fun prop. A really good sense of control. The weird thing for me is I have to use a lot more throttle than I'm used to and I'm, my quad's not a power quad where it just puts out masses of power. So it feels a little underpowered at the moment. But I'm gonna fly another pack and I'm gonna see how these fly when they've been bent back. So that's important actually. Oh, 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 oh,
We ain't done yet. No, sir. Fly them again because a lot of the thing here is really just because I'm not used to them simple as that if I had a different flying style or I was used to them I'd probably fly them a lot better than I'm flying them and you know I think that's a lot of that's something that I think no one's really considering that much or being that honest about but yeah a lot of it is me it's like I'm just not used to them they fly different so my quads different so I'm not flying optimally or whatever um, but yeah I want to fly this other pack on them for sure
like no one's planted the quad. Holy crap, that's my receiver. What is it doing out there? All right, man, I got a good verdict on the S3s. And the verdict is that, yeah, they're a good prop. They're really smooth, really responsive, great prop wash handling. Uh, the durability is there. They're as durable as any other HQ prop, if not better. I was able to crash these a few times, bend them back. They fly pretty well, even when they're bent. Uh, if they have a magic power, it would be the throttle control you get when you're coming down out of stuff and when you're recovering from moves. I found that there's either very good prop wash handling or just no prop wash. Uh, on the negative side, they require you to use the throttle a lot more. So depending on your flying style, like for me, I am used to floatier props, meaning props with a lot of low end. And I tend to like to throw the quad up with a burst of power and then just use little yaw movements and roll movements to correct it on the way down and then grab it at the last minute before it hits the ground with power. So I'm not used to using so much power all the time when I'm flying. But that's going to depend on your flying style a lot, I think. You know, so in other words, maybe I'm just not that good of a pilot or maybe I'm just not used to these props and how to fly them according to their intended characteristics. They're not very nice and linear and they're a good prop. Um, they're not a magic prop and they're not going to be for everyone. It's going to depend on your setup and your flying style and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're worth trying a few packs. That would be my recommendation. Uh, I'm, I would never tell anyone, yeah, convert to this prop because that's anyone who tells you that's an idiot uh, because different people have different stuff they like. So. What I will say is, try them out. They're worth a try, for sure. They're not a don't bother prop. They are definitely try them out prop and see what you think. 